All right, well, what you're seeing here, um, this is the uh, Bolt 18F 2550 controller. This time, though, I've connected the LCD display up in the parallel mode. Um, it just takes the change one subroutine in the uh, program, which I will show you how to do shortly. But it works identical to the uh, serial board that I have in another video and that I've used on my Arduino projects. So to look at what, you, what are you seeing again on this display. Um, it works. Uh, that is a text string. 56 is an int integer. Um, the program will do uh, floats. It will do negative floats and it will fill in the missing zeros where it should. The th where J equals 1023 um, that is this pot tied to one of the A to D input ports. You adjust the pot and it's reading the pot. The way this program is designed, it, the, uh, this part of it works 56 and the uh, float value are put on there once. The routines are designed that I can go anywhere on the display. The only thing that's changing on the display is uh, the J equals is there. It's coming here to where you see the four digits from the uh, potentiometer which reading the analog to digital converter it's a 10 bit A to D converter and uh, how it does that it reads the value there and then uh, before it lays the new value down it uh, simply prints four spaces and clears the area and clears those for uh, particular four characters out that's how incredibly flexible this is. So let's take a little look inside of the software and learn a little bit more how this is done. How do I switch between a, a serial LCD and the parallel LCD that you see here? This is what the bolt, let's move that up just a little bit, was designed to use for the manufacturer. His, he also has uh, files that comes with it that has LCD routines that you can use, but he lacks most of the math and other functions, and I simply approach things differently. But the uh, man knows his stuff, and I have high praise for Mr. Martinez. So let's go take a look at uh, the code that I use to produce what you're seeing here. We'll cover a few of the odd things. All right, welcome back. As a brief explanation, I'm just going to uh, show you how to change the LCD routines that I've written to, to, from uh, the serial LCD, which which might take a little more work for a, a newbie hitting this thing, to using the uh, parallel LCD that should plug right into the edge of the bolt, bolt microcontroller board. Uh, remember, if you're going to use a backlight, you need to put the two jumper wires on the back. Cathode goes to ground. Uh, I think that's pin 15 and pin 16. Anode should go to 5. But as far as the software routines go, everything is identical except for this. And it's called SSR Write. Normally, if you're using my serial LCD, you're going to use the top uh, one that you're seeing here that I'm waving the mouse pointer around. If you're just going to use the one that plugs in, it's going to be the parallel. You'll just comment out this one and then uncomment this one down here below. Remove that. Remove this. And you're down to... Uh, um, whatever va whatever uh, character you send is just stored right on port B uh, and then all the rest of the software further up does its whole thing uh, not up to that 
Um, that's all you need to do is just uncomment this and then comment out the routine up here to change from parallel from serial to parallel LCD. Uh, thanks for watching the video and good luck.